that I am Dr. Henry Jekyll. Why could I not tell them there is no soul? Tell them that when word gets around, I am Jekyll the agnostic, Jekyll the atheist, God naysayer. Fuel for the fire. More ammunition for Sir Danvers Carew, the pornographer of death, the corrupt charlatan who will sway over idealistic young men who would be heroes. And tomorrow morning, he wields his butcher blade again. Dr. Jekyll, will you be dying again this evening? You betray outside the laboratory. I'll be working all evening. Yes, Doctor. And cool. No disturbances. Of course, Doctor. Jekyll has, on numerous occasions, exhibited chronic manifestations of disrespect and insubordination. In addition, for years now, his sole work has consisted of the costly importation of roots and powders for the distillation into suspect tinctures made at ruinous expense to the laboratory. That's not true. The experiments take place in my laboratory at my expense. And if the tinctures appear suspect to you, Doctor, it's because they're foreign. You see, he admits it! Well, of late there's been a change. Of late there have been occasions when he can't seem to recall what he's done in one of his states. It's as if a hand has pulled down a shade to block his view. Hours seem to have passed, and try as he may, he can't remember what he's done. At most he can recollect shadows, sounds, a name. Is there a term for that? Yes. In its Latin root, it's called a blackout. But Jekyll, I drop off the guess. I don't feel the ear hallucinates. It's symptomatic of the addiction. My patient is not an addict. Of course he is. She merely quoted the text. No, there must be another answer. The obvious. He's not lost the spirits of narcotics and the source of his condition is internal. The man is mad. A danger to himself and others. And consequently not to sort one can treat in a consulting room. What do you mean? Jacob, <laughs> do you have reason to fear for the patient's safety or the safety of others? Yes. Then you must have him confined in an asylum. Henry, I know I didn't have your consent to do this, but I had to prove to you once and for all the kind of man Hyde is. Based on your investigations, what kind of man is he? A villain, a brute, a sensualist of the perverse and, and a predatory beast who knows no care nor conscience. Then, suppose he may have another side. Henry, this Hyde black man, he says something about you he knows. He knows everything about me, and I only know what he allows. Well, that could be in your favour. As long as there is nothing linking you to his sojourns, then you cannot be implicated. I beg you, Henry, whatever involvement you've had with him, whatever, whatever bond, whatever hold, you've got to cut yourself off from Edward Hyde. I shall. The decision is made. Utters in your entreaties have moved. I shall rid myself of Edward Hyde. Resolved in this? I speak to no more of it. Will the release room do, sir? Yes, thank you. Is there anything else, sir? I should like a jug of water. There's one on the dresses. I should like it refreshed. I'll send it out. Clothes, boots, hat, decay. Destroy them. Burn them. Yes, sir. Now, sir. No. Just wait till tomorrow. I'll give you the key there. There are a few things I need to close up first. Yes. Good night, sir. Good night, 
feels I have been such a years. Perhaps I have. Perhaps I've come to believe that all of this was but a nightmare. Only a dream to you. Last time. 